Now that's a... Good question! You know, this is a beautiful time of year, the month of October, the season of autumn. Not just because it's my birthday this month, but when you look outside, you see the beautiful different colors in the leaves of deciduous trees. And deciduous trees are those that lose their leaves in the fall. So if you live in a temperate region of the world, you know what I'm talking about. And the colors are just beautiful. As a scientist, I love art. And I love the interplay between art and science because it's all connected. I want to show some examples here. But before I do, let me read our next question. Our question comes from Kaylee. And Kaylee asks, why do rocks with copper turn green? Well, that's a good question. And let me show you some rocks and minerals that are of different colors because they come in all different varieties. Here's a, and I don't know if the screen does it justice, but here's a red mineral called citrine. Here's an orange mineral, jasper. Here's, oh, a stinky yellow mineral that is called sulfur. Here's a blue mineral. Look at the brilliant color. Here's a green mineral. Here's a, oh, a purple mineral, amethyst. This is, by the way, really quick story about amethyst. Amethyst is what got me interested in geology, studying geology in the first place. I had a grandmother whose favorite gemstone was amethyst, and she gave me a few specimens of amethyst that just sparked my interest in geology. Uh, and, and, you know, there are minerals with different colors, too, and different appearances, like fool's gold and how shiny it is. And we know that copper uh, looks like shiny new coins. And in the U.S., we have copper pennies. And so Kaylee's question is, why do rocks with copper turn green? Hmm. Well, the reason is chemistry and the type of elements that make them up. All of these examples of minerals that I showed are different colors because of the different elements that are contained in them. Now, here's a couple of green ones. This green one is chalcosite, and this one is malachite. And you'll notice they are green. And the reason these minerals are green is because they have copper in them. But not just copper, a chemical reaction has taken place with the copper when exposed to air and it becomes something called patina, which is a fancy word for copper rust. If you've ever seen the Statue of Liberty, you know what I'm talking about because the Statue of Liberty is made out of copper. And when she was brand new, she had a shiny luster like a shiny new penny. But because of the chemical reactions of the oxygen in the air interacting with the copper in the mineral, it formed copper oxide, which is copper rust, also known as patina. So there are lots of rocks and minerals in the world that look green because they have copper in them, but the copper has been oxidized. In fact, the way we extract most of the copper in this world is by taking green minerals like the ones I've shown you and refining them or melting them down and extracting the pure copper and separating it from the oxygen. So, the answer to that good question, why do rocks containing copper look green? It's because they have copper rust in them and the oxygen has to be removed in order for them to look shiny once again. So that was a very good question. And until next time, I'll say bye-bye.